Hi, Gagam. I'm Uncanny, and this is on Christopher, and we have Anna as well, but he currently cannot make it to class today. So today we're just going to go over um, some prayers and the meaning of Aoni, okay? So the three prayers we're going to review is Ginzang Nai, Ginjukian, and Ginrukle. And we're going to first talk with Ginzang Nai. So with Ginzang Nai, it's, you guys heard this before, okay? So we're going to read the first line together, and then um, we're going to read the second line after that, okay? All right, so Nininja, Bakan, Batan, Amen, Nai Nai, Kansan, Jajua. Alright, so you guys, uh, you guys um, should pray every single morning when you wake up just to thank the Lord for, you know, the wonderful sleep that you guys had and pray for the day that you're going to have to make it a better day to help other people and um, to do everything in the image of God, okay? So you guys can practice this uh, with your parents. You guys can go back uh, to watch this video. If you guys need to hear us sing again. We're gonna move on to the next prayer. All right, Genchu Kian, okay? This is prayer before meals. So we're always gonna start off with the sign of the cross. Amen. Wing sing, wing sing, chu ka ma tai chu pu cha chum kan zum cha chum kan zun ne ka te pam ne in cha ba ka ma tan tan amen. All right, so you guys probably heard this prayer a lot um, at school. Um, we always sing this prayer at the end of Yao Li and before we have our snack time. So if you guys... Um, need to practice again you guys can always just click back and just hear us sing okay all righty so here we have gin rukle prayer before receiving holy communion so we're going to do the sign of the cross again Amen. So you guys already have communion already. Um, you guys know, already know when that occurs during mass. So usually what I would do, and I think I can even do the same, is that we usually say this prayer um, in case that uh, before, always before we receive communion while we're kneeling. And we just kind of just thank the Lord that we were able to receive him and um, ask him to stay with us forever. Okay, so we're on to the part where, what does Wang mean? Okay, so uh, our model for Aoni is Wang. And you guys heard Wang before when um, that's how you guys respond. So what does Wang mean exactly? Uh, it means that you always have to listen uh, to people who are older than you, such as your grandparents, your parents, uh, your family members, such as aunts and uncles, uh, possibly older cousins and brothers and sisters. Uh, the second meaning uh, for Wang is that um, we always have to be polite to, to other people, okay? Uh, polite in terms of respecting, um, not being uh, loud or whenever someone is talking, we don't want to talk over them or let the other person finish their sentence. And lastly, uh, why means to be honest, all right? So you guys um, shouldn't try to you know, lie, lie all the time. It's, it's not healthy, it's not good. Um, just always be honest because the truth, the truth uh, never hurts, okay? And lastly, uh, you know, the color of your scarf is green, and there's a meaning behind that. So, if, if uh, and Kenny, you want to kind of explain what this uh, Aoni, the color of Aoni means? So, basically, I mean, just as the slide says, it, the color of uh, green just means like the color of like a, yo a youth tree or a plant that's still like a seed that's growing. So, all of you are just now green, right? And you see everyone else with like blue, yellow, and red. And so, you're, you're green. So, you're still a little seed. And once you reach and grow up, 
become a blue and yellow and a red, you, you start to grow up as you come along in school, right? When you become older and just pass classes. And then, and as a seed, you need a lot of nutrients. So then we feed you all those lessons so that you become stronger when you become a blue, blue scarf and a yellow scarf. And then onto brown and then red. Yep. So, yeah. So green is just basically you guys are, you know, we were once green too. Uh, we're, we're all young ones and uh, we're still learning to this day. Um, but green basically means that you guys are uh, taking a lot of information and, and it's, it's good. It's good to, to learn a lot about your faith because um, we're going to try to, you know, spread, spread our faith to other people as well. Okay. So that concludes our uh, lesson for this week. Um, we'll see you guys next week. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Cam. Yeah.